Welcome back. WW Fly Corvair here. Today's video is on ignition systems. The specific part we'll be taking a look at is part number 3301. Both the EP and the EPX models. Again, it's covered in your conversion manual in section 3300, the ignition group. You can read about it in detail but let's get a visual look at it today. This here is the modern EPX distributor. It is EP as in electronic and points. This is a well, well proven system that's been in production more than 15 years here. It was pioneered here and made by myself. System works great. It is on more than 95% of flying Corvair powered airplanes today. It's got a great track record, and it will work for you just as it works for other people. This is what's inside the distributor housing. Inside, it has a set of flyweights and the point cam. In its natural state, it's sitting idling in this position. The springs are holding tension to hold the flyweights closed. When the engine comes up the RPM, the flyweights overcome the spring tension, and if you watch the point cam closely, the point cam will advance. Looks small, but that's the advance inside the engine. This advance allows the engine to go to full power, but makes it easy for the starter motor to start the engine. Before putting on the points plate, we put a small guard over the top to retain the weights. Then, the points plate is installed. The points plate holds both sources of ignition. It has a traditional set of points on one side, and operating over here, it has an electronic ignition. This offers two wholly independent sources of ignition inside one distributor housing. They are diverse because the points operate in a very different method than the electronic ignition does. They complement each other, they can be run at the same time, but they have different qualities that make them desirable. Every distributor is finished here in the distributor machine. The distributor machine can run the entire ignition separate from being in an engine. This is a 1947 Sun distributor machine. It is an excellent, excellent tool, but not too common in shops these days. In the machine, we're going to set the ignition. When you get the ignition, it comes complete and ready to go, ready to drop right into the motor. Requires no adjustment. The adjustments are done here in the machine. The first adjustment is I'm going to set the points to the proper gap, and after they're set, I'm going to check the ignition timing, and then I'm going to follow that up with matching the ignition timing with the electronic unit. When in proper operation, the electronic unit will have about a two degree ignition lead over the points. They are set to be very, very close to each other, but we want the electronic, which is your primary operating system, to be slightly in advance of the points. Right here is the point screw. Again, it comes set but this is the point that is locked down to hold the points adjusted. The adjustment needs only to be checked when the ignition has a variation during run-up. For the most part, the points are checked once a year at annual, and in service they have shown to go more than 10 years. The electronic unit, currently made by FAST, originally is a crane unit. You'll see them referred to interchangeably. In the 15 years I've been building these distributors, I have never seen a single unit of these fail. The only time we've had a failure was when somebody wired it backwards on the ground. We take care of that. The wires are color-coded. Uh, as long as you don't wire it backwards, uh, it's good to go. We have never had an in-flight failure of a crane unit. Right now, it may be difficult to see in a video format, but the machine is running and it is turning the distributor. You can see the rotor in motion. 
the ignition is displayed graphically on the wheel. It is currently running on the points. The machine is currently running on the electronic ignition. I have timed them to have a slight lead on the electronic. In normal operation, your primary ignition is the electronic. The points are for starting and for backup. In operation, the distributor machine has a variable speed motor and we can check the ignition advance when it's currently idling and then we can speed the motor up and check the advance and the RPM. Every ignition system comes with a new cap, a new rotor, a gasket, installation instructions. The units come complete and set up ready to install. Additionally, EPX models come with a special weather pack connector and the mating connector for the airframe, which allows quick and easy removal without any tools. The ignition system is set and ready to install and we'll cover that in a separate video. The Corbair ignition system as we know it today was developed here by me in my shop 15 years ago. This is the standard EP and EPX distributors. Several hundred of them have come out of this shop and gone flying. It is a very, very reliable ignition system. There are no known failures of this system in flight. Works and is a great unit for home builders. Comes complete with instructions and this is the unit we teach people how to operate at colleges and workshops all across the country. Every distributor is run in the machine and gets its own three numbers on the bottom. We'll go over this in a different video on installations, but the three numbers are on the bottom of every distributor and that's how you know that it's been run in the machine. The three numbers stand for the low RPM where there is no advance, the amount of degrees of advance on the crankshaft, and the RPM which all the advance is in. The instructions go over in great detail why these numbers are significant. Unfortunately, over the years, we have a lot of people who ignore this and just stick it in the motor and time it by ear. That is a surefire way to have a disaster. If you follow the directions and follow the instructions and use a timing light, it is a foolproof system. We will have other videos on ignition systems, particularly timing them. For right now, I just wanted to give everybody a good look at what's on the inside of a modern Corbair ignition system as manufactured here in the shop. If you like what you've seen in the video, please remember to subscribe. There's plenty more coming and we'd like to stay in touch with you. Thanks very much. We'll see you out there.